I think here in Hendersonville and, and really nationwide, it's causing lights to come on in a lot of people's heads. That uh, people are beginning to catch on that yes, the system is rigged and the bulk of us are getting the shaft because of that. Um, obviously, there's a, a wide range of motivations for the people involved in o Occupy. You can call it real focused, but this a general malaise here. They understand something's wrong and we need to fix it. I don't know that we have a lot of specific solutions coming out of Occupy, but at least have we gotten people to thinking and not accepting the baloney that they've been fed so long. Well, it just seems like this taxophobia that the conservatives have is going to erode away the economic life of America, that universities are going downhill, uh, the infrastructure, the, it, the interstate system was very important for the prosperity in this country. It's not being maintained um, you know, in all sorts of ways. We're just not spending the money in ways that build for the future anymore. And this, this concerns me for my granddaughter. She's only three now. My, my son and his wife are old enough that the, the time scale of, of decay shouldn't be of direct importance to them, but certainly by the time my granddaughter is trying to make a living, uh, the options are going to be limited. I think maybe they ought to move to Canada. You had said earlier that the conservative movement seems to be co-opting Christianity. Now, I wouldn't claim to be a Christian now, but I was raised as one, and I understand what it's about. And the conservatives seem to be saying, I've got mine, screw you. And that, if anything, is the opposite of Christianity. 